Hey everybody, it's Coop here, and welcome back to my newest vlog. How are you guys doing today? Good? I'm doing good. It's a sunny day. I mean, besides all the ice, of course. If you, uh, if you watched my last vlog, you know how just grossly icy it has been, but it, it looks nice. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? So, if you recall, my last, my last vlog, the camera was somewhere like here. Um, I had a suggestion or two to have it face me instead of face out. Um, so I thought I'd give that a try. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you don't like where it's positioned, you're shit out of luck. Because I tried to stick that shit everywhere. I tried to stick it on the side of the mirror, or not the side of the mirror, the, uh, the window. I tried to put it underneath the uh, rearview mirror. I tried everything. I, I fucking, I cut myself uh, in the hand earlier today trying to use the little, uh, uh, the camera came with some like uh, arms and a little sticky pad, basically a bunch of shit to put it like if you want to put it in like a motorcycle helmet or whatever, just a bunch of little things to do stuff like that. And I actually cut myself trying to put the shit together with my uh, handy dandy fallout looking box. That's where all the gear goes. I'm gonna actually close that. But yeah, so this is where it's gonna have to be, uh, which is kind of cool because if if I'm not making a vlog and I do wanna have the car camera in the car or if I'm going on trips or something and I wanna get some good views, I can just spin it around it'll act almost like a dash cam, which is pretty cool. So, I, I, given that this video, uh, I hear that people like this angle, I'm gonna keep it this way. Given that it stays stuck to my dash, I had some problems with that this morning, but it's still there, so fingers crossed. But in my in my last vlog, if you saw, um, as I was coming home from Tim Hortons, uh, I drove past a mini that I thought was my dad, and I was just saying that it it would be funny if it was him, but it probably wasn't because he should have been working. Well, technically, we both should have been in the city working but since I was working from home I thought that would be weird if, if he was there too and I asked you guys to leave a comment and let me know if you thought that it was actually him or not uh, so for all you that said hey dude uh, that's your, totally your dad bro it was he uh, <laughs> he actually was at a doctor's appointment in town so he hadn't he either I don't I didn't ask but he was in town at that time so it was actually him it's, it's funny how how that shit happens I'm glad I caught that in the vlog, dude. That that, uh, that was good. But it is so hard to see. Uh, hopefully my car is not too uh, too dirty for this straight at me cam. My retinas are burning. Fuck. For those of you that don't know, I'm gonna. It's story time with Koopy, okay? So. This whole social media um, journey that I'm sort of doing here uh, started actually as a blog. I, I remember I was reading some game reviews and I'm a writer. I, I've written novels and books and stuff. So when I was reading some of these reviews, I thought like I could do this. I don't, I don't know if I, you know, some of these people do professionals, but I, I could do this. It would probably be pretty fun. So what I actually started was um, Cooper's Corner's Cooper's Corner blog. It was a website. It was like a free-made website on Wix or whatever one of those free websites called. And every day I would just post. Oh, sorry. Oh. I would post uh, a, an article about uh, a game I was playing, or or a movie trailer, or an album that was coming out, and it was all just. Um, my, my thought, like, um, just sort of reviews, like, I remember my first post was about, um, the problem with Seven Days to Die, where if you were playing multiplayer, when you saved, when you went to load, it was, like, corrupted, and I, and that was the first post that I made, and I did one of those every single day until around December of 2016, and I did it for since like the summer. So I, I did that for about six months. Jesus, that was a big pothole. I did that for about six months. Um, 
and over that six months started also incorporating other social media so it started with the website then I think a Facebook page and then Instagram and then Twitter but what happened and what I noticed is that um, although the blog website had a couple thousand views it was just one a day so it was sort of like a push so every time I go on Instagram and I'd submit the I, I would sort of do a picture of and if you if you scroll back on my Instagram you'll actually see these, these posts where it would actually be a quote from my article accompanied with a picture that I used for the article but I found after the back of the truck's open what the fuck sorry sorry what I found out was um, on Instagram you gotta be a little more you gotta put a little, a little more content. One picture a day with a quoted caption from yourself doesn't really get noticed. So what I started doing is just posting photos in between. So if I, if I, instead of watching a trailer at night or in the evening and then writing an article about it the next day, I would just post a photo of it right then and then I'd, and I'd write sort of what I thought. And then the next day, I would post an article and then sometimes I wouldn't even post the photo to go along with the article and what started happening is there was a disconnect between the website and the, the posts because I was just posting so much more often than earlier so I decided to stop making the website because of that along with the fact that my Instagram started getting more popular than the other platforms so what I started doing is when I started putting up videos onto my Instagram I noticed that they were getting really popular too, like compared to some of the other shittier posts that were done back from the website. So I went to my old YouTube, or not my old YouTube page, my YouTube page that I didn't really use for anything besides just logging in and viewing it to be able to comment. And I just started putting clips up there. And what I started realizing is that that, that was sort of fun to do. And, I, and what I really like to do, and the reason that I do this is because I like to have the interaction with you guys. So when I, I ported all the big articles from my website over my Facebook page, and, and I was gonna continue to post articles still. But I, I don't, I think I've posted one since then. And I just, it, it didn't seem, what it started out has, as has sort of morphed into something better for me. And I, and I think that the YouTube platform has become more beneficial to, to me because I want to be able to reach out to you guys so put, posting an article for you guys to read and then you just read it and then oh cool this is what Coop's thoughts are and then you move on with your life isn't really what I wanted to do I really wanted to make a community and I wanted to make a group of people that could come together and, and play together and, and enjoy like um, um, Elemental Havoc it's, uh, he's got 60 followers on Instagram give him some love if, if you haven't already sub or, uh, followed him or subscribed to him on YouTube go do it great guy but you can sort of know me more than Blackbeard from Rainbow Six or the hunter from Destiny it's it's or diva it, it's more it's me in fact when I started making this page I actually told myself to ever post anything with me in it with actually me I wasn't gonna put my face I wasn't gonna and, and my first videos and stuff actually don't even have my voice on them. I, I wasn't going to do that. But what happened was at New Year's, there was a filter on Facebook that gave you these, like, Cyclops visor goggles that said New Year's. And I thought that was the funniest shit ever. So I took the picture and I posted it to Facebook. And I was like, oh, but that would be pretty funny. And I think that some of my Instagram followers would like that. So I posted it to Instagram. I'm pretty sure I deleted it and then put it back up again. But you guys seemed to like that. And, and, and some of my friends thought it was funny. So I, I kept it there. But since then, it was sort of like, I, I'm I'm out there now. I've now done it. And then when I started making clips of me and my girlfriend playing, you could hear us talking and stuff. And I kind of got over that, that initial f judgment fear, right? Like, uh, I'm putting myself out there for you guys. And you could easily just say, wow, you're a fucking loser and you suck and never play Destiny again, you're bad, break your PS4 in half and you sound like a bitch. I, I don't know, right? 
and I, and I don't think that people would really do that, but it was that initial fear that I have because there's always that I don't know how people are going to react. But you guys have reacted pretty pretty well, and I'm I'm really grateful for that. So um, th that's and that, even then that is why I put the camera up there the first time because I wanted you to sort of see me in the real world but I still wasn't really ready to put myself at the forefront of it I, I wasn't ready to be the, the full image of myself I guess which which doesn't really make sense when I say it out loud but that, that was the rationale behind it and even now, when I put this video out, I don't know how people are going to react. I don't know how this is this is going to handle. But I'm optimistic. And I know that some people had suggested to put me like this. So maybe that's what you guys want. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's end of story time with Coop. Or story time with Coopy. All right, it's getting about time to switch from these bad boys to these bad boys. I'm kind of excited to play the, the For Honor beta because I don't know what to expect. I don't, I was pretty excited when I saw it at E3, but the more and more I think about it, the more and more I think that I'm not really gonna like it. Now, fucking Ghost Recon Wildlands, that looks nasty. That looks so sick, man. Customize weapons on the fly. Unlock stuff. Build uh, different approaches. Free roam. Multiplayer. Oh my god, it just looks like... It looks like what the Division should have been. I don't know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are excited for... For Honor or Wildlands or both. Either way, uh, my PSN is listed on all of my social media pages, so if you ever want to play, add me, and let's fuck some shit up. I mean, I'll take down a cartel. Got no, nothing else better to do, right? All right, guys, well, I want to uh, thank you for accompanying me on my way home. It, uh, I know you're not actually here, but it makes it feel a little less, a little less lonely, you know? <laughs> But I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm just about home. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Throw a few comments on there. Make fun of me. Do whatever you got to do. Just, just as long as you're reaching out, I'm going to reach out. So, uh, yeah. I hope from for the rest of the day you have a good day. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Speed, speed it up. <laughs>